Okay, welcome to the video tour from Mardle Street, three score Norwich. Uh, we're a three bedroom link detached house located in a little quiet cul-de-sac within very easy walking distance to the university hospital and uh, even university. And um, just at the end of the cul-de-sac, we've got what looks to be a bit of public access land. And we get great views of Meadowland, uh, particularly from the master bedroom. So we've got a side access gate just there, small front garden, low maintenance, a parking space in front of the garage, and uh, it's got a, a single garage. It's slightly longer than an average garage. We'll go in there in a, in a little while, uh, and there's power and light in there as well. So in through the front door, into the entrance hall, with stairs leading to the first floor, We have a radiator, a laminate flooring, there's a little understairs space there. Thermostat for the central heating, it's gas central heating obviously. And we have a smoke detector. So off to the left is a downstairs WC with UPVC window. Electric consumer unit, pedestal sink, radiator, and obviously low level WC. Uh, it's ceramic tile floor in the WC. So backing out, um, we will turn to the right, which takes us into a really good size lounge. So unfortunately, these uh, video tours tend to compress the room a little bit. It makes the room look smaller on the video than it is in reality. So please sort of bear that in mind when you're viewing, but it really is quite a good size lounge. We've got UPVC windows to the front aspect. Um, we've got a radiator. Uh, in this corner, we have a BT phone line and what looks to be Sky Plus cables in as well. And we have a door that takes us through to the dining room, which we'll go and have a look at in just a second. Okay, so through this door into the dining room, sliding patio doors, UPVC, and we've got this nice laminate floor as well. I like the colour. Radiator. Power points there. There's also some power points there. Two. Uh, Rear garden, pretty miserable out there at the moment, I'm afraid, but it's a nice size and we've got a couple of patio areas. Shingle area there. And it's fully enclosed. So this door takes you through to the kitchen, but I'm going to approach the kitchen from the entrance hall because it just seems more logical to do so. So this is the kitchen. I've got a good selection of what looks to be pearwood effect uh, wall and base units uh, with roll fronted work surfaces over, tiled splashback, uh, built in oven, which is all nice and clean. Gas hob, which I personally prefer. It's a bit more flexible than electric. And we've got an extractor hood over. We have a space there for 
uh, either, either a washing machine or a, a dishwasher. It's plumbed in that cupboard. And we can also fit a washing machine in this recess. So uh, washing machine and dishwasher if required. And we've got a space here in a plug socket for a freestanding fridge freezer. And some additional storage. So stainless steel sink drainer, double glazed window and door to rear aspect, uh, ceramic tile floors, and of course that was the door back to the dining room. Have a quick look outside, even though it's raining. So a large patio area. Lawned area, little shingle area, and I'm guessing that will get the late afternoon, early evening sun in that patio there. Curtsy door, uh, incidentally, which is flood lit into the garage. Unfortunately, the bulb is blown in the garage, but hopefully you'll be able to see that it's longer, quite considerably longer actually, than a standard single garage. I mean, it's not quite a tandem garage which means one behind the other obviously but um big enough for a car and some storage um up and over door obviously goes to the parking space at the front like i say there's power and there's lighting in here so we'll go back indoors and we'll document the first floor. Uh, missed the gas boiler, obviously that's certificated annually. Uh, the electrics have just been certificated, so they're, they're certified for, 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 for the next five years as being safe. So, up the stairs onto the landing. We have a double glazed window to the side aspect. Smoke detector, obviously. And then from the landing, we have <coughs> doors to all three bedrooms, the bathroom, and uh, we have an airing cupboard as well with a factory lad tank and a shelf there just to put your sheets and your towels. So we'll start off in the master bedroom. The comfortable double. I have to just show you the view. It's a bit miserable out there today, but that's slightly west facing. So you're gonna get the most amazing sunsets over that meadow. There's someone walking their dog there. I don't know if you can just make that out. So obviously it's public, uh, public access land. So yeah, that's your view as you wake up in the morning. Lovely. Oh, incidentally, this uh, parking spot here with the bushes around it, that's like a visitor spot. So first come, first serve. So in the bedroom, we have um, a radiator, a TV point there, plenty of power points. And that's a phone point there as well. A treble fitted wardrobe which has a shelf and a hanging rail underneath. Always very handy and they free up a lot of space for the, for the actual bedroom. Um, so I think uh, that's possibly sky leads. Let's have a double check, make sure I'm not fibbing. Uh, yes, I think that's a sky lead there. And then we have a terrestrial aerial point there. Uh, they've not been tested, so um, uh, this is the first time we've let this property, so I don't know if they're connected or not, but I just point them out. So uh, double glazed uh, window, radiator, tiled floor in the ensuite, low level WC, inset uh, sink with vanity, vanity unit below, uh, tiled splashbacks, mirrors, 
Um, and we've got a shower enclosure with main shower running off the hot water tank. So decent pressure, all nice and clean. And as I don't know if I mentioned, but there's an extractor fan as well. So back to the landing, just give one last pan round. And then directly opposite, we have uh, bedroom two, which is uh, a, what I would deem a small double. So power, single power point there, double power point there, UPVC double glazed window, radiator, and power point two. The carpet's all in good clean condition. Uh, sometimes the cameras can play tricks with carpets and make them look stained when they're not actually uh, stained in reality. And I think that's happening just there on the entrance to this room. Little camera trick, unfortunately. So a small double. And then if we proceed just a little bit further down the corridor, we're into bedroom three. Um, I would deem this a three quarter size. It's um, very nearly a double in its own right, but I think you'd have to have the bed against two walls. Uh, I would personally have the headboard against that wall in front of us as we're looking, and then coming out this way to afford you enough space for a wardrobe and a chest of drawers just along that wall there. Uh, double glazed window, radiator, Quick view of the back garden. And then, um, lastly but not least, leave the family bathroom. So we have uh, a UPVC window, extract fan, pedestal sink, Hard splash packs, low level WC, white plastic bath with a little shower over and ceramic tile floor. So we'll just have a quick recap. That was the bathroom. This is the smallest bedroom, which would take a double bed if against two, two walls. Bedroom two, which is a small double in its own right. Across the way we had the airing cupboard. Master bedroom. With that wonderful view. An ensuite. Down the stairs. front door I'll walk this way round through the lounge to dining room so you get a, an idea so this was the lounge separate dining room
kitchen. Rear garden. Downstairs Lou. So the start of the cul-de-sac um, is uh, just by the edge of this uh, hedge. This is Mardle Street that continues round on a sort of a continuous loop. That was the public access land and meadow. This was the parking space and the garage so that's the video tour for Mardle Street we hope you like what you've seen uh, if you have any questions at all give us a call the telephone number is 01603 728 900 thanks for watching